these earth creatures. It's a rhino to king, and we're doing something special today. We have acquired a little something cool, which I don't normally open up on our channel here. It's, uh, it's something a little bit different. It is from Japan, and it is a smart doll. So we got this smart doll in here. We are going to open it and I'm going to attempt to put it together. Uh, so this might be a long video. So yeah, let's, let's go. Now I cannot begin to like explain how excited I was when I got this smart doll of Supergirl. It's, you know, like a lot of my friends collect these ball joint dolls, otherwise known as BJDs, and they they have been trying to convince me to, you know, purchase one. And I, you know, it's I don't collect dolls. I do have a few that I, you know, for the from the companies that I used to work for, but I just don't collect dolls. It's just I don't have room for it. Obviously, look, look at all this space. It's like, it's like a madness, a madhouse here. It's like. There's so much other stuff that I collect that owning dolls is just like I never thought about doing until, until like, you know, you see something really cool like a BJD and then you, you completely get converted. But it wasn't, it wouldn't have been that way unless, you know, I, I watched this anime back in my college, in my college years, I watched this anime called Angelic Lair. And uh, I, I actually have the Blu-ray here. Which I haven't opened up, obviously, because I also have it on DVD. Which goes to show you how much I actually enjoyed this anime. I, I saw all of it, like, multiple times. It's basically about a girl who has, you know, makes a fighting doll. And I always thought that concept was awesome. So here is the angelic layer, and, you know, this smart doll, it's like... I heard it's going to be just like that experience of creating a living doll or living fighting action figure or whatever. So I'm going to have to open it up and I'm going to have to see what this experience is all about. So let's take a closer look at what's inside this package, okay? Hopefully I don't get addicted to buying this kind of stuff because I have way too much stuff already. All right, let's take a closer look. Okay, full disclosure, I do not collect dolls. So I don't really have the terminology that I probably need to better explain this toy, but let, let us try anyway. So this is a smart doll from, you know, designed by this guy. Danny Chu, you may know him, or at least his dad, Jimmy Chu, but let's talk about Danny Chu. He is the stormtrooper from Tokyo. He's awesome. He's a great guy. He helped out a lot with Anime Expo in LA, and you know, this this guy is amazing. He's, when he called, called my office, I, I was just like, what the heck? I was like, kind of surprised that he called, but uh, he needed help getting the the boots approved on on this uh, this smart doll, so I helped out, got it approved, and now I have a smart doll. So this is like the box that it comes in. It's a pretty plain box, but it has the smart doll, you know, logos all over the the sides of it, and I am not entirely sure how this doll comes packaged all I know is that the experience is going to be similar to that of you know building an angelic layer doll uh, from the anime so I'm going to open it up let's uh, let's open it up together and see what this is like so I'm gonna get my trusty battering here and just cut this open Now, I, I have never owned a smart doll before, and 
or any type of ball joint doll uh, but I've had friends I have friends that do own own this this type of doll and are huge collectors of the ball joint doll they're like huge in the ball joint community and they were always trying to get me into this getting getting me into this but I don't collect dolls and I just I I would have liked to get into it it's just I don't have enough space for that maybe in the future but who knows you never know so I opened up the package and what do I got I got a bag on the inside it says keep calm and carry a smart doll which is kind of cool all right I'm gonna remove this give me a second So this is a, it's like a typical canvas bag with that logo on the side. Here's the Smart Doll logo. Smart Doll designed by Danny Chu. And then more Smart Doll logo. And more. And then let's see what's inside here. So we got another box. And it looks like we have the doll as well. So I'm going to remove the box first. So we've got this box, which has the logo. And we have the doll itself. Okay. So the doll comes uh, bubble wrapped. Uh, this is kind of scary looking, but. You know, it's keep an open mind though, because uh, I feel like this was uh, positioned this way for you know easier easier to pack and stuff. But so here she is, all nicely packed and wrapped up. I will I will take a look at her a little later because we're going to open up this box first. Okay, so this box, what does it hold? What's in here? Whoa, warning, actong, stop and first read the welcome guide. And here's a nice photo of her. Is that supposed to be her? No, that's not her. It's a smart doll though. You know, super cute. I really wish that I had space to actually get into this, into these dolls, but alas, nope. But okay, let's go into these, into these bags. It looks like these are bags of her outfit. So here we have her costume, which is the belt, her top, her skirt, and her cape. Pretty cool, and it's a Ziploc. Ziploc, right? Yeah, it's Ziploc. That's cool. I'm gonna put this down. Oh no, what's this? Here's something I'm more familiar with. This is a. Uh, this looks like fists. So she comes with fists of fury. This is this is great. You know, this is uh this will help you, you know, make it make it more of an, like an action figure. You know, if you if you want. So that's cool. And here we have. Uh, I am not sure what this is. Looks like shorts, trunks, or something like that. And something. Sorry, I'm not sure. This looks to be like it's a stand. So you can, you know, make your stand and stuff. Here we have her boots. So this is what I worked on, or what I helped get approved. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool seeing that. And finally, we have her wig. It's in a little wig net. Okay, let's put all these down. Now. Let's see. Should I? Do 
Alright, open with this first. Man, where are the instructions? I haven't seen any instructions. Alright. I'm going to pause this and then look up some videos actually to actually how to put her together. Alright, so pause. Alright, so let's go remove her from this uh, bubble wrap. And also this uh, plastic bag part. So here she is. This is a ball joint doll. So this is basically, or a BJD. It is basically like an action figure. It has a lot of the, the typical articulations as an action figure. You have the shoulders, you have the, the elbows, you have the wrists, you have hips knees and ankles but you also have the body and then the neck and it has like pretty much has full motion here's the head so here she is she's basically wearing the typical smart doll under ruse and here is the hole for this thing, which is the, the stand, so that she can stand up. Here's a closer look at the articulation of her. That's pretty cool. I love her face though. She's like really pretty. But, so I watched some videos how to put her together, so I'm going to, I'm going to put her together, all right? Let's try this out. All right, so this is gonna get lewd, so hopefully, hopefully it uh, doesn't get censored or anything. But, so here we have, we have stockings. So we wanna start off with the, these first. Uh, it doesn't really say the front and back, but I'm gonna assume that this is the back. It has the the little logo on there from the main company, which is Mirai. If you don't know what that means, it means future. And these are her trunks, I believe. But okay, so I watched the video on how to put her together, and you basically have to. I'm gonna cover her up. I'm gonna do that over here, so you don't see all the lewdness but you're supposed to basically remove her the undergarments that she came with because you have to replace them with this stuff which is basically her tights and her supergirl trunks so again I keep saying, I keep on talking about Angelic Lair, and this is basically how it starts in Angelic Lair. She builds the doll, and it's like pretty much the same experience which I'm like already feeling. Like you're getting like that, you're feeling like, you know, you are basically like creating this, this, uh, this personalized doll of yours or, or toy and it's just uh it's pretty cool like kind of like Build-A-Bear I guess but in doll form in a very expensive doll form which is still pretty cool all right so now we're gonna put on her trunks so these are her trunks I guess this is the front obviously so we'll put that on This is so weird, but you have to do this for science because 
as a toy collector you always have these type of uh, scenarios especially if you want to get into like the the cooler more expensive toys I guess but I hope you I hope my friends who are into BJDs are proud of me I now have one and hopefully maybe more in the future but we shall see we shall see now if they had a Harley Quinn heck yeah Here we go, her trunks are almost on. And there you go. She has her trunks on. Totally like Angelic Lair. This is, I'm living the anime life, you guys. Okay, so in the back, you see like the little hole in her trunks? That is supposed to go up here because for the stand, you just want to plug that in there. Nothing too big. It's pretty cool, right? Alright. Next, we shall. I believe we have to take her apart. Um, I we'll probably have to remove her top now. So, I'm going to open up this, uh, her outfit, her main outfit. So we'll take a closer look at it. Now, her outfit is here. As you can see, the S shield is a little distressed. You know, just uh, just like how like this costume is almost. So that's pretty cool. It's battle damaged. Oh, and then what do we have here? Her arms, her sleeves. I mean. Her belt. Let's remove this because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to put on, that on a little later. But here we go. There's her sleeves. This the quality in the fabric is freaking amazing. And her cape. And see, I was correct. These are her trunks, so it's a good thing that I put those on. It's stuffed here. That is, actually, let's remove some of the stuff so that I have a little bit more space on this table. And let's see what else we got. So, okay, so I guess it looks like we do have to take off her top because this is basically serving as a bra, as a sports bra. So, okay, I'm going to pause it again so I can watch another video. Okay, this is gonna get kind of gruesome, but we have to do this. So we're gonna take her apart. And she just pops out, the arms just pop out easily. Just wanna pop it out. Just be gentle with it though. You know, you don't wanna like tear the plastic or anything. So I just kinda go in there and pop it out. Then for her head, just like hold it gently. It comes out perfectly. Okay, then we want to remove the top. Actually, let's remove the whole the whole top area. So now we just end up with this part because what we want to do is we want to take this part, her chest area, and then we want to put on her her sports bra cape on first so we wanted to remove the her her sports bra and just like put this here like this and there we go wow okay this is like super difficult not really though just gotta get used to it, you know. Just gotta, you know. Just if you're not familiar with this type of toy, just look online and see how the others put her together or put any of these types of toys together. Which is really interesting. 
then I guess we, we leave that here for now. And then, so here's here's the outfit. And we're going to want to unzip the back. Then we're going to put that through here, I believe. Slide it. Is this how you do it? Just want to slide it all the way up. Is that even going to fit that way? Actually, no. You know what? That doesn't sound correct. I think what we're going to have to do is this way. We'll do the easy way since there's no chest or arms here yet. We're going to do the easy way and just go from the top. And then we're just going to push her abs through. Oh, see, oh yeah, see that's an easy way to do it. Yes, yeah, because like the waist area is a little too tight for her rear. And then let's just like kind of like bring this down a little bit so we can pop this back on. And then as you can see, you can see like the I'm gonna put that part there and then you want to see these shoulder joint areas I just want to take these we're going to first remove the hands just to make it a little simple for us so that we can put her arms in her sleeves just to make it easier work smarter not harder wise words from certain scrooge mcduck so we just take that joint pop it back in there actually you know what let's do the other arm first so that just in case it gets a little too tight there so we're going to remove the hand you're going to take the arm and straighten it up a little bit just to make it easier for yourself and just like pop it in there and a sleeve. Okay, and then and then now you want to raise up this costume and then get get this joint in there. Like so. Did I not push her her top down far enough? Alright, so why is it so difficult for me? Alright, there we go. We got one arm, one shoulder in there. Let's get the other one. And I think once we have that, then it should be a lot more easier to get the rest of the costume on. Alright. So right now she's not fully popped in, so we're gonna pop her in. Um, all right, there's here the click. There you go. There you go. Just fix her costume. So you have the shoulder areas there. Is she in all the way? I oh, don't know if she is. Let's get her costume all nice. So we want to bring up her sleeves let's do this there we go there we go oh, I probably should have put oops probably should have put on her belt first but it's too late we have to move on I think the body is soft enough where you can kind of squeeze her in there but still having trouble with this again Full disclosure, I am not a doll person. I fail at this stuff. Alright, so let's zip her up. Alright, alright. How does she look? She looks like looks like a guy dressed her which is me sorry 
but my bad. Okay, so like I said earlier, you know, you want to make it more like an action figure. She comes with Fists of Fury. Let's go use these lovely fists for this. So we got a left fist. This pops in pretty easily. Now secured. Here we go, right fist. Alright. Let's put her belt on now. Okay. Now, I probably should have put this on after putting on this costume, but we've gone too far already. So we'll just kind of get it on there, and it, there it goes. Bends it a little. It's good. All right, let's put on her head so that she doesn't look all scary looking. at her she's all pretty she's like I need my boots all right I'll put your boots on so let's open up these now fun fact these were actually looked at by Jimmy Choo so that's a little a little trivia question for you guys so here is her right boot and her left boot so we're gonna put that on how do I position this so you can see it and it doesn't break all the toys that are on my table okay so the zippers on the back we're going to I'm gonna flip her over here then we're going to put on her boot one at a time. This is so. Who would have thought I would be doing this? I guess I would have. But there we go, we got one boot. And yeah, let's zip it up. All right, look at that awesome boot. Now for the second boot. Actually, you know what? Let's see let's have you sit down a little. Second boot will unzip you, and we shall put you on the left foot. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. That's a easier way. Probably should have done that in the beginning. So, like, what I just did is I just uh, rotated the foot just to make it a little easier. You know, it's, like, more natural when you put on your shoe to, like, actually move your ankle so that you can actually put your foot into the shoe. There she is, the boots, but now I need to put on her, her wig. Huh, why does that fit like that? So here she is, Supergirl. Okay, so here's the wig now. Okay, I knew it was gonna come to this, but I have no idea how to put this on. Or I kind of do, but 
I'm not exactly good at this stuff. So let's find out how this looks and then so it comes like in a wig net and uh, I know about wig nets because I used to cosplay and I have a bunch of them for my various wigs and they all end up getting thrashed from the conventions I went to but this is interesting this is doll sized so here we go here is her wig it's all nice and combed already you know you don't have I don't have to like actually comb it I probably do though because I see some strands just like flying all over the place but uh, okay um so let's just put this on here like so probably should have put this on when I had her hair or her head off but I didn't think about that all right so here we go that is not on correctly excuse me I will remove her from the camera for a second and then I will try to fix this So this is uh, just like putting a wig on your head. So it's kind of difficult. I had to like actually go look at what I'm doing. There she is. Supergirl. She's freaking pretty. She's awesome. She's lovely. Yeah. There she is, her face. Everything about this this uh, this doll is pretty awesome. And uh, I, I would like to confirm that yes, this did bring back memories of Angela Claire. It had that same feeling as what when I was watching that show a very long time ago. And yeah. Would I do this again? Absolutely, absolutely yes. So if there's another character that I am interested in then yes is this a hobby that I think that you guys should get into it really depends on on you guys like are you into are you into this stuff are you into like BJDs or or you know like anime in general it's a uh, if you are then I'm gonna suggest yes it's something that you will inevitably get into or you'll just like want to get into it but yes the cost is like really high uh, I noticed that some of the clothing costs more than the clothes that I wear so so yeah hopefully you you like this and hopefully you get into it cuz this is a pretty cool hobby if you are into these things so yeah awesome I finally have one smart doll you know the BJD the ball joint doll it was awesome right it is super expensive but it's totally worth it I can see now why my friends are totally into BJD's and I hope to get more in the future uh, who knows I don't actually I don't normally collect those those toys but you know you never know right so thanks again thanks for watching Please like and subscribe and comment and share and all that other good stuff. And I shall see you soon. Up, up, and away.